Hey everybody, this is Ivan Novik here, and today I'm going to do a demo of Greenplum 7 Alpha, and one feature in particular from Greenplum 7, the Alpha version. Um, the feature is upsert. So upsert means when you have a key, you can either insert a new record, or if the key is already present, then you do an update. So let's get started and get into the demo. All right, here we go with the demo. So <clears throat> for this demo, I've got a green plum instance running on a single node, and we will go ahead and create a new database for this demo. Um, actually, didn't need the semicolon there, but in any case, um, I just created a database, GP7 demo, and we will log into the BB. And from there, I do want to show you which version of green plum I'm running. So you can see here, this is Postgres 12 beta 2, Greenplum 7 database, Greenplum database 700 alpha from one of the builds. And you can definitely download this from GitHub and do uh, testing on Greenplum 7 alpha version. So with that being said, for this demo, um, let's do this demo based on a use case for sensors. So sensors are generated in high volume. We want to analyze the sensor data, but in order to analyze them, we need to capture them. Now sensors frequently have a sensor ID. So we're going to create a table in Greenplum, simplistic table, which is called sensor data and which um, has two columns. It's got the sensor ID, which will be text, and it's got the sensor value, which will also be text. And the reason I'm using text is then I can just store anything in it, uh, whether it's a number or it's a text a character, and we can interpret that data later in any way we want. Now, we will set a primary key for this table being the sensor ID. So sensor IDs are unique, and there should be only the latest value stored in this table, in this use case, we're storing only the latest uh, value of every sensor ID in the table. So you may have a sensor history table that's storing all the historical sensor data, but this will be just the, you know, each sensor, what's the ID and what's the value. So we go ahead and create that. And then, for example, let's say we have a sensor ID X12345 and we get a reading. So we're going to insert some data into it and you can see that it has the data. And the the ID and the value. Um, now, if we were to go and try and insert a new value for the same sensor ID, it's not going to work because we've created as a primary key. So it already exists and you won't be able to, to update that value. Now, theoretically, we could say, do a select first and then see, do we have that sensor ID? And if we do, then we do an update SQL. And if we don't do an insert SQL, but that's the whole point of this demo and this feature is we want to do up cert. So not update and not insert, but up cert, which means either insert if the key is not present or update if the key is present. So the syntax for that is right here, insert into sensor data, we're putting a new value. And then we say here on conflict on the sensor ID column, do the update. Now there's a whole bunch of syntax options you can do with this, but this is the, the demo use case I'm doing, which is just to um, either insert or update based on the key. So in this case, we're gonna essentially use this special word excluded in order to um, insert the new value. So we'll go here and paste it. And basically now that got inserted and you can see that the value for this sensor should no longer be the five twos, but the the four twos and a three, which is the the new value, which we um, which we just updated, right? So now it has the new value because we said, you know, on conflict to update. Now you can also try this exact same syntax and you should do this exact same syntax when the key is not present because the whole idea is now you've got one syntax which works whether or not it's a new key or an old key so here we've got a new key you can see it's 645 and we're going to run the exact same syntax and with this new key then um, it's going to work just fine right even though 
um, even though the key is not present, right? So the idea is that you can either do inserting a new key or updating the value. And all you need to do is say, what is the name of the key? What is the name of the value? And do it as an, as an upsert. So with that, go ahead and give it a try. Download Greenfilm 7, the alpha version uh, from GitHub uh, or compile Greenfilm 7, the alpha version from GitHub and install it on your system and give a go to the upsert